welcome saints welcome viewers this morning thank you for joining me for those of you who do not know my name my name is Gertrude Jirasa Payne of DP Global Ministry and this is one of our teaching in the month of September 2021 where we are making a conscious effort to decree the fruitfulness prosperity promotion the multiplication enlargement of God over our life and this week I've been it's been a call to action week because I'm saying to you it's not enough to hear a good message is not enough to follow a teaching and not apply it to your life and so this is a call to action and, and I'm explaining to you that when God speaks over you when God releases something over you you've got a role to play God releases the prophecy but you have also got to put the work in and so this week we are looking all about you and we're looking at self what is it that I'm doing that is denying me from becoming that which I'm meant to be what is it that I'm saying that is denying me from from becoming that which I've got to be. What are the characteristics and the attributes that I possess that is stopping me from becoming that which God has spoken over me? What are the things that I am doing that is denying me of it? It is no longer about my environment. It is no longer about what the enemy is doing, but it is me and I am focusing on me. And today my message is, have you got the capacity for where God is taking you? Have you got the capacity for where God is taking you? Because a lot of us do not have capacity for the things that we desire but you have got to create capacity in your life for you to begin to receive stop being content with the little that you have stop being content with what you have because contentment means there is no longer any room for anything else and when you settle it means that there is room for nothing more and some don't have room for the blessing that they seek you cannot receive that which you don't have the capacity for if I don't have capacity how am I going to receive the very thing that I claim that I no longer need so you've got to create capacity so my question to you is where is your capacity and how much capacity have you got when capacity is finished the flow will stop when you when you max your capacity there is no longer any flow and I want to prove this uh, to you in scriptures if you can turn your Bibles with me quickly to to second Kings chapter 4 we are going to read from the verse 1 to verse 7 it says that a wife of the man of the company of the prophets cried out to Elisha. He, she says, your servant, my husband, is dead. And, and you know that he was a very reverent person to the Lord. But now his creditors have come to take my two boys as slaves. Elisha replied to her, how can I help you? Tell me, what have you got in your house? She says, your servant has nothing there at all except for a little jar of olive oil. The verse 3, Elisha said go round and ask all your neighbors for empty jars don't ask for it, just a few then go inside and shut the door behind you and with your son and pour oil into all the jars and as each is filled put it to one side she left him and shut the door behind her and her son then brought the jars to herself and she kept pouring when all the jars were filled she said to her son bring me one more jar but he replied there is no more jar left and then the oil stopped flowing she then went and told the man of God and he said go and sell the oil and pay off your debt you and your sons can now live on what is left it is about capacity this text is about capacity so the woman says to Elisha that my husband your seven who who feared the Lord has died and gone but he had some debts to pay that he did not pay and now the debtors have come to take my two sons away from me so help me do something and Elisha said what have you got in your house again another thing before you get something you've got to invest something you've got to sow something so he said to her what have you got in your house she says I've only got a little jar of oil he says that's fine you've got something to give you've got something to put in to be able to get them at the multiplication he says go around to all your neighbors and your friends and go and get as many many jars as you can he warned her before he says get a lot of jars get a lot of jars come back in close the door and begin to pour that little oil that you have into the jars 
we are told that the widow began to pour the oil and as long as she was pouring the oil the oil continued to flow when she got to the last jar she said to her son go and bring some more jars and her son says there's no more jars and he says the oil stopped so as long as she had capacity the oil was able to continue to flow but the minute capacity was exhausted it stopped. Have you got the capacity for where God is taking you? Have you got the capacity for what God is doing in your life? Again, you you know the story about Jesus feeding the 5,000. The Bible tells us that Jesus has then been teaching for hours and hours and hours and it was late and the people were hungry. He said to the disciples, what have we got? They said, we have got three fishes and five loaves of bread that a little young boy has got and that is all that we've got. Jesus you've got to send these people home but Jesus says no I am going to feed the people he says get them to sit down and begin to break the bread and give it to them I mean the disciples were astonished Jesus how are we going to use five loaves of bread and three fishes but Jesus says go and continue to break and we see them arrange the people and began to break it they continue to break it for the people and it, there was capacity because they had the capacity it kept increasing and they kept breaking and breaking until they got to the point where it was no longer required and then it stopped so as long as they kept breaking as long as there was a need for the food as long as there was more people requiring the food they were able to continue to break and break and break until they got to the last person when it was no longer required so have you got capacity for where God is taking you sometimes we do not appreciate the very thing that God is giving us and we do not appreciate and understand that it is going to stop flowing it's going it, it will stop flowing if we don't utilize it in the name of Jesus may God begin to increase your capacity may God increase begin to increase your bandwidth may you begin to understand how to place a demand on that which God has placed in your hand a lot of us have that anointing we have the capability we have the power and we are placing no demand on it if you don't place a demand on it it will not flow if you don't place or demand on it it will not begin to operate place a demand on the mantles that God has placed over you place a demand on the wisdom that God has placed over you place a demand on what is in your hand place a demand on the money that God has placed in your hands and let it begin to yield more for you in the name of Jesus place a demand on your mind right now in the mighty name of Jesus place a demand on everything that God has given you because that is when it will continue to flow and flow and flow in the name of Jesus. May God give you the bandwidth for increase and may he give you the bandwidth for promotion and may he give you the bandwidth for enlargement in the name of Jesus. Bandwidth is the volume of information that can be sent over a connection in a measured amount of time. Are you capable of receiving the volume of revelation that God is giving you? Are you capable of receiving the volume of information? Have you got the capacity capacity for the volume of information have you got the capacity for the prophecy that God is giving you have you got the capacity for the promises that God is giving you have you got the capacity for the revelation that God is giving you have you got the capacity for the information that God has placed onto you God is transmitting at any particular time to you he is constantly transmitting but we do not have the bandwidth we do not have the capacity for what God is doing what are you doing with that information when God downloads that information to you what are you doing with that information because a lot of us we, we, we even when you have capacity and the word comes you do nothing with it and then you max out because you were doing nothing with it the more you use it the more you receive the more you use it the more you receive the more you apply the more you receive have you got the frequency for promotion have you got the frequency uh, for uh, for increase and um, frequency is the rate at which a current changes directly direction per second what direction are you following and what what direction are you taking is it a direction for increase is it a direction for promotion is it a direction for filling purpose or is it a direction for, for scarcity some of us continue to flitter from one place to the other and we do not move in the right direction we just jump from one place to the next and, and we are not consistent but I pray over you that you are receiving the right frequency I pray for you that you have the right 
right capacity. I'll pray for you that you have the right bandwidth in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll pray that you have capacity for what God is doing in this season. I'll pray that you have capacity for the promises that you carry. I'll pray that you have capacity uh, for, for the blessings that God has given you in the name of Jesus. You've got capacity for the words that have been released over your life so that you can become everything that God has spoken over you. I want you to begin to pray over yourself and say, God grant me capacity because I refuse to be content with that which you haven't called me for. I refuse to be content in a position that you haven't called me for. I refuse to remain in a place um, that is not where I'm meant to be. Um, let me have the capacity for that which you were doing in every season of my life. Um, may I have the capacity for everything that you were doing in each season of my life. Um, I call for I empty myself, Lord. Um, I empty myself of information that is not right. Um, I empty myself of things that are occupying me that are not worthy of your praise. Um, and I empty myself and I have capacity for where you were taking me. I have capacity for greatness. I have capacity for increase. I have capacity for multiplication. I have the capacity for enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you for someone that joined us and prayed this morning. And I pray your blessing is released over them, Lord. I pray that as they go about the day, you will continue to minister to their spirit. You continue to minister to their mind. You will begin to download the right things into them in the mighty name of Jesus so that they can fulfill everything that you have spoken over them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.